Hello everyone, Professor Prophet coming to you from Craps University. It's episode 27 in our Build a Bankroll series. We started out with a $1,000 bankroll and thus far we've better than tripled it up to $3,136. Today we're going to show you the strategies, the strategies that we have used to build this bankroll up to $3,136. And hopefully you'll learn a little something and can incorporate some of these strategies into your game and make your session successful also. We're going to set our stop loss at $300, which means we'll play down to $28.36. And if we get that low, we will uh, end the session. Don't want to blow your whole bankroll uh, by going on tilt and just losing it all. So uh, if you don't do that currently, uh, discipline yourself and set a stop loss before you step up to the table and that'll keep you out of trouble in the long run. So we're going to start off today with a $5 pass line bet. First shooter has the dice in hand and has stepped up to the table. So let's see, see uh, how we do. Here's the first roll, come out roll. It's a 5-1, that's an easy 6. So 6 is going to be our number. And we're going to start off with a 64 across bet. And we'll pick up that 6 behind the pass line. And since the 8 pays at 7 to 6, we need to get our bet up to a multiple of 6, so we'll get that up to $12. Uh, now our main strategy is as we hit score hits, anything that pays us, we will take down the two outside numbers, and that will limit our exposure to the casino and limit our uh, amount of losses that we can have. And it's kind of a grinding um, strategy, if you will. but more times than not you'll walk away from the craps table a winner and anytime you can walk away a winner in a casino believe me it's a good day and it's a good feeling so the come out roll is a six that's our number we have our place bets down and here's the first roll okay there's the hard four so that's a nice eighteen dollar payoff to start and as we said as we have score hits which that would be one we take down the two outside numbers which are the ones that have the least chance of hitting again. And in this case, it would be the 4 and the 10. And the next time we hit one, it would be the 5 and the 9. So here's the next roll. That's an easy 4 this time. Of course, we just vacated that 4. So uh, we don't do anything as far as moving any chips on that roll. Next one is a hard 6. So that's a winner 6. Uh, one thing on this app that I don't like, that pays $17. Um, that should have been um, 14 and 5 should have been $19. So I actually shorted us two dollars. It's just a bug in the uh, in the app, and I don't know how to fix it. So we'll just have to live with it. Uh, however, that was a score hit, so the two outside numbers do come down this time. The five and the nine. The eight place bet is off on the come out roll. Pass line bet, of course, is working. And there's a winner seven, front line winner. And the next roll is a 10. So 10 is gonna be our number. So we're gonna put that six back up. And see if we can hit one of those, the six or the eight or the 10, before the big red shows up. And there's the easy six, so that completes this level, our 64 across level. And so we're going to take down our 6 and 8, and then we're going to repopulate the board, all the numbers, with one unit, or 32 across on this in this case. And we'll pick that 10 up behind the pass line, put a hat on the 6 and 8, get those up to $6. And here's the row. Okay, 6-3, center field 9. So that's a $7 winner. The two outside numbers come down on the score hit. That's the four and the ten, of course, is behind the pass line. So we'll take our odds bets back up. And our next shot is 5-2, and we're all through there, seven out. So I uh, want a little money on the first shooter. Next shooter steps up. And there's Snake Eye, so we lose $5 on the come out roll. And our number is established, it's the hard eight. 
So we're going to come back with 64 across. Two units on all the numbers. Put the hat on that six. And here's our first roll. Okay, there's a winner eight, the easy eight. And you'll notice once again it pays us $17 when it should have been 19. But a winner eight, a uh, score hit, so we'll take down the two outside numbers again, the four and the ten. And the place bets are off on the come out roll here. Uh, another nine. So we're going to go ahead and put that uh, eight back up. And we're good to go. Here we go. Okay, there's an easy four, nothing on the four. And we seven out there, so that one uh, that one bit us a little bit. So we'll move on to the next shooter. And another eight on the come out roll, and we'll stick with our 64 across. And see if we can get a little money back on this shooter. All right, the first roll is a 6-3 center field nine. That's a score hit, so now come the outside numbers, the four and the 10. And the next row is the hard 10, nothing there. And there's a 5-4 center field 9, another score hit. So down come the 5 and the 9, which are the two outside numbers. And looking for a 6 or an 8, and there's a 7 out. So we'll go on to the next shooter. Lost, I think, for, uh, or actually we won like a dollar on that guy. So um, even if it's a dollar, better to win it than to lose it. So 64 across one more time. And we'll pick that 10 up behind the pass line. Top off the 6 and the 8. And here's the first roll. Once again, it's a 9, 6 3 center field 9. So down comes the 4, down comes the 10. And here's our next roll. And once again, there's the 7 out. So we're having a tough time getting anything going today. We'll continue on, and uh, hopefully this will be the shooter we've been waiting on. So 64 across. Four is the number. And there it is, the hard four. So nice hit. So the four is down already. We'll take the 10 down, which is the other outside number. And the place bets are off on the come out roll. And that's a 437, so that's a front line winner. Another $5 in the coffers. 6-1, another front line winner. And there's another 4, an easy 4, the 3 one, four. So the pass line bet is live, and the place bets are all live. So here we go. There's another 9, the 5-4 center field 9. Score hit, so the two outside numbers come down, the 5 and the 9. And once again, here we are looking for the 6 or the 8. So here's the roll. And we do hit the six finally, and we do complete this level. So we'll take the six and the eight down, and we'll repopulate the board with one unit or 32 across. And hopefully this shooter will keep rolling good numbers for us. There's a six two easy eight, so that's a score hit. So down comes the four, which is behind the pass line. Pick up our odds bets, and the 10 comes down also. Another 4-2 easy 6, so another score hit. So down come the 5 and the 9, the two outside numbers. And once again, another score hit, 4-2 easy 6. So once again, we will repopulate the board. And this time, uh, being our third level, any wins we have on this level we'll give to the dealers as tips. As we've said in previous episodes, we ask the dealers uh, to do a lot of work moving our chips in and out, up and down. And so when we get an opportunity, we need to show them a little love. So let's hope that we can hit some numbers here and give them some tips. And we can't. So there's a 437, and we're out. So the next shooter steps up. Come out roll is a 9. 64 across. Pick up the 9 behind the pass line. And here's the first roll. 415. That's a no field 5. Score a hit. So the 4 and the 10 come down. 
Next roll, four, two, easy, six, no field, six. Five and the nine come down. And there's the seven out. So came close, but no cigar on that one. So the next shooter steps up, throws a six, four, and easy, 10. And so once again, 64 across. And let's see if we can get a little roll going here. Seven out on the first row, so one and done, those uh, those get expensive pretty quick. So new shooter, new direction, and there's a 6-2 easy eight, and we're going to increase our bets to 160 across, pick up the eight behind the pass line, and put a hat on that six, and here's the first roll, 6-3-9, center field nine, so that's a score hit, so we'll take down the four and the ten. And the next roll, 5-3, that's the winner 8, we like that. So uh, score hit, the 5 and the 9 come down, and the place bet the 6 is not working, pass line bet is, and there's a front line winner 7 on the come out roll. And next shot's 5, so 5 is going to be the number, and we'll put that 8 back up, $30 bet there, and we're looking for a 6 or an 8 here. There's two fives, the hard ten, once again. And there's one we're looking for, the five one easy six. So that's another winner, so we'll take down the six and the eight. And we'll reduce down to 64 across. Try to take advantage of this shooter. We've won a little money with him, and hopefully he'll continue to throw some good numbers for us. Nope, seven out. So we've gone through quite a few shooters here. We're down just a few dollars, but we are down. So hopefully this next shooter can uh, get us back in the black. So the come out roll 6-1. That's a winner 7, a front line winner. And it looks like our number is going to be a 6. So we'll come back with the 64 across. Put a hat on that 8. And here we go. Okay, 6-4 easy 10, so that's a score hit, so the 4 and the 10 come down. The next roll, 7 out. So on to the next shooter. 4-2 easy 6. So once again we'll do the 64 across. 7 out. Okay, so now we're down some serious money. So next shooter. Front line winner, 617. Another winner, 437. And there's the easy six, so we've got a number established. We're going to come back with 160 across. Pick up that six behind the line. And put a hat on the eight. And here we go. Seven out. So that's another one that hurts. We'll try one more here. That's another easy eight. And we'll go back with 160 across. And hope this guy can hit some numbers. Okay, there's the 6-4 easy 10. So that's a score hit. We'll take down the two outside numbers. And there's a nine, 6-3 center field nine. So two more numbers come down, the five and the nine. And once again, we're unable to complete the level. So we'll try one more here. There's the hard four. 160 across. And we're not going to put anything behind the pass line here on the four and the ten. Uh, maximum odds is three times, which means the most we could put back there is 15. So we're just going to stick with the $25 place bet. So here's the first roll. And that's a horn number. Horn numbers are 2, 3, 11, and 12. And whenever we throw a horn number, we take down the two outside numbers just as if it was a score hit. Um, we found that if you get a shooter throwing horn numbers, usually the seven is not that far behind. So we want to see if we can limit our exposure. Next roll. There's the 10. We just took that down, so that's not good. There's a hard six, that's a score hit, so down come the five and the nine. And let's hope this time we can complete this level 
and hit a six or an eight here. So here we go. There's the easy six. So we did complete that level. And we'll take down the six and the eight. And we'll come back with 64 across. And we will put the four behind the pass line this time since we can do that. And we've got a fully populated board. So one thing we don't want to see here is that seven. And there's a 6-4 easy 10, so that's a score hit. So we'll take down the 4 and the 10. And let's hope we can keep this thing going. Okay, there's a horn number, so down comes the 5 and the 9. And we're looking for a 6 or an 8 here. And we 7 out. Okay, so I think we're going to make this our last shooter. Come out, roll. There's a 6 again. We're going to go 1... 60 across and see if we can make a little money on this guy. Okay, 6 3 center or 5 4 center field 9. Score hit, so down come the 4 and the 10. And there's a winner 6, 4 2 easy 6. So down come the 5 and the 9 on the score hit. And number's been established, that's the 5, so we'll put the 6 back up. And looking for a six or an eight here. And we seven out. Okay, so once again, we have trouble getting above the $3,000 level and staying there. We've crossed 3,000 I don't know how many times in this series. And this is just one more time. Uh, we started out with a little north of uh, $3,100. I think it was $3,126, maybe $3,122. And uh, we're going to end this session at 2960. And once again, uh, you're not going to win every time you step up to the table. And if my memory serves me right, this is going to be three out of the last four sessions where we've actually walked away uh, having lost a little money. So that's no fun, but um, some days are like that. But once again, when they are like that, you have to maintain your discipline and not go on tilt and, and lose your entire bankroll by chasing your losses. So we hope you enjoyed this episode. We hope you learned a little something and uh, you can incorporate that into your game. And hopefully the dice will treat you a little better than they did us tonight. But if you like what you heard, please hit that thumbs up button and also consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, once again, this is Professor Profit coming to you from Craps University. If you're going to the casino, we wish you nothing but the best of luck, and may all your roles be winners. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.